Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday and we hope that you'll consider subscribing to our channel. So we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner with some grilled ribeye. Howard grilled out for us today and then he just put them on his cookie sheet to bring them into the house. So we're having that. And I um, made some Sister Schubert's yeast rolls. They're the kind that come in the freezer and you just pop them in the oven for 10 minutes. And then I made us some baked potatoes in the microwave. That is the quickest way for me to make them. These are two medium sized baked potatoes and I microwaved them for about 11 minutes. And then for dessert in my pantry, I had this Krusty's butter vanilla sugar cookie mix and all you do is add a stick of butter and an egg, quick and simple. So here they are. I have not tried one yet, but Howard said they are very good. They smell really good, just like vanilla. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight. Some grilled ribeye, baked potatoes, and bread. See you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight we are having ground beef stroganoff. It is a super simple meal that I like to make. So um, I ground and seasoned two pounds of ground beef and I just got it sitting here, branding on a paper towel. In the same skillet, I sliced up a large onion and um, eight ounces of fresh mushrooms. And then I have some sauteing here. I season them and they're sauteing and a little bit of olive oil. Once, these are, once the veggies are finished, I'm going to add in the two pounds of ground beef, and then I'm going to add in 16 ounces of sour cream and a can of cream of mushroom, and that is my super simple 10-minute ground beef stroganoff. With that, I am serving some stir-fried um, broccoli, and then I've got my egg noodles cooking back there. So I will show you what everything looks like when it's all plated up. Oh, and I'm making some bread too. So I'll show you everything um, when I get it all plated up. All right guys, so here is everything all plated up. Like I said, this ground beef stroganoff recipe is so quick, so easy. Um, and here are the egg noodles that I used. I have these in the pantry. These are the crescent rolls, and I decided to try something different. So I just took a regular old pack of crescent rolls, and I rolled them out, and I um, kind of, you know, pushed them together at the seam, or pressed them together at the seam, I should say. And once I had them pressed together, I just spread on some of this garlic spread that I had, and then I also had some. Um, grated Parmesan cheese and I sprinkled that on and then I rolled them up kind of jelly roll style or kind of like um, cinnamon roll style and then I just cut them just like that and I just cut them in 10 pieces and then I baked them until they were golden brown and as you can see there's a little cheese in there so I hope these are good I've never tried it this way before but I wanted to do something different so anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some cod from our freezer. And I've mentioned before on other What's For Dinner videos, I am not a big fan of fish, and I really don't know how to make it very well. But we had company um, a while ago, and they eat fish. But unfortunately, we didn't get to fix this while they were here. So um, I wanted to go ahead and use this up. So I just pan fried some cod, never made cod before in my life. And then I just also sauteed some green beans. And these are the ones from Aldi. I really like these. Um, I just put them in the skillet with some olive oil and I season them up. And then I also made some stir fried rice and this is jasmine rice. And I added some fresh mushrooms and green onions. And then Howard added a couple of slices of avocado to his plate and I'm having the same thing, but I'm not having the avocado. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight we are having taco salads and I am sad to report that this is the very last box of taco salad shells I have or had left in the freezer. You guys have heard me talk about these several times. If you've been watching our What's For Dinner videos for a while, um, this is it, this is the last box. I hope I can find some more. But I love these because they are flour tortilla shells and they come with formers 
and um, you just bake them in the oven and they come up, I mean, they come out just like restaurant style. They honestly do without the frying. They come out crispy and crunchy. This is my taco salad and that's how flaky they are. They are so good. So this is mine and I just have salsa, cheese, I have lettuce on the bottom and the taco meat. And this is Howard's taco salad. And he has uh, refried beans on the bottom, I'm trying to get a shot of that. So refried beans on the bottom. He has taco meat, as you can see, he has avocado, sour cream, salsa, and cheese. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Okay guys, we are trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is ramen noodle egg roll skillet. I think that's the name of it. I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box. But in my skillet, I just have some ground pork and I have some onions and garlic and a bag of coleslaw mix. And um, in this pot, I have um, two packages of ramen noodles that I've boiled, drained, and I've tossed with some sesame oil. I did not use the seasoning packet, so I'm just dropping this in the skillet. And Howard helped me cook tonight. And there is a sauce that goes into the skillet, so I'm gonna add that in. You guys, this smells so good. Found this recipe on Pinterest and we love Asian food around here. So let me give this a good toss. And I will say the variation, um, one of the variations that I made for this recipe was that I only used two packages of the ramen noodles because everyone said it makes a ton and they're right. This is a huge skillet. You turn down the heat a little bit, huge skillet. So I'm just gonna let this simmer for just a few minutes and then I will bring you back when I have everything all plated up. Okay guys, here is the finished product, all plated up. Howard and I gave it a try and we both said it's okay. What we did like about it is that it's really quick and easy and it makes a ton. And I did get the name of the recipe wrong. It's called Egg Roll Ramen Skillet and I'll make sure to link it in the description box. Like I said, the only variation that I made was I only used two packages of ramen noodle soup and I did not have any red bell pepper, so I left that out, but everything else I did add. Like I said, here it is. Pretty tasty, not bad at all. We said we would definitely try it again. Um, but anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having barbecue chicken teriyaki. Let me show you the packaging. Um, I picked this up from Winco, which is a local grocery store. Um, and it's really good. I had a little taste of it here. It's a skillet meal, but you can also prepare it in the microwave as well. I'm serving mine over jasmine rice, and then we're also having some fresh stir-fried broccoli. And then we are finishing up this box of pork egg rolls that I had in my freezer, and I got this from uh, Tom Thumb. I think I have one more box in the freezer that we need to go through. You get four in a box. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.